Hello, welcome to the Academy of Animated Arts Community Critique and oh. Chill. Uh, so we have a couple submissions. We have two animations and some stills. Um, yeah, so we can go ahead and, and jump in and feel free to, to give feedback as we go along. Uh, so first we have uh, animation by Glory. Which is looking really cool. Does anyone have any thoughts right off the bat? Right off the bat, thoughts are that it looks really nice. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I think it's super pretty. Yeah, I think so as well. Really, like all the colors are, are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I like like some of the like the fluorescent elements going on are really, really awesome and, and draw your eye into that that center. Um, one um, of the things there's that, some like <laughs> Oh go ahead. No, there's some like straight level lighting too, which is cool. It's like sunset, it's starting to get dark out here in the foreground. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're definitely right. And that, it, I think that that's helping a lot too. Um, one of the things I'm noticing right off the bat is that the shadows, especially in this foreground, are like these, some of these buildings are just going like super black. Like this, this one as well. Like, I feel like those values could be raised a little bit just so that they're not pure black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a little bit too contrasty, but I also mm -hmm. think it's kind of working well. So it's up to, you know, Glory and whatever she decides. But I do agree that there are some like super dark areas. Yeah, no, I agree. I like the contrast a lot. It, it would mm -hmm. just be, yeah, playing with those values in some of these buildings that might just need a little bit of lift in the, in the shadows. Um, and then another thing I was noticing is that the the um, lens flare right now, I feel like, especially with a push-in, there would be some motion to it. So it kind of just feels like a still, still Im like a image on top of it. And so maybe look into seeing if you can animate that. Anybody else? Hey, everybody. How's it going, hey. Andre? Hello. Yeah, I don't know. It looks really nice. The um, the like really blown out part in the center building does catch my eye. I feel like it's a little bit stair steppy, but I don't know like, if there's anything. You're saying like in here? Um, like that that building. Mm. But yeah, the highlight on that is a little. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's like to be expected, right? It's like realistic. Yeah, it depends on like what it's what this is exposing for, but mm -hmm. looks good. Yeah, yeah, I think in just, overall it's just like looks great, and yeah, I would just be nitpicking. Yeah, for sure. Try to think if anything else is sticking out. Oh, there's like a little bright white. Dot lower left quadrant. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh, uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. Looks like it just looks like a light, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I would get rid of that. That's yeah. like the only real note that I have. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. I'm now now I'm noticing some of it, like that. Almost looks like it could be one as well, and then this and this maybe you could soften soften the light a bit here yeah maybe just even a little more glow because all the other like street lamps there look pretty look more diffuse and the edges yeah that could help yeah so nice she really recreated it well in Maya like after getting the look in Katana yeah That's yeah it is the only other thought I have is like just like if we're thinking about like if the if the sun is coming like straight at camera, like these buildings here are like getting this the side lighting, which I feel like 
maybe these would get a little bit more of it too. I, can, I know there's some here and here, but um, it feels like we might see a bit more like of, of this sort of lighting hitting some of these buildings. But I mean, I can kind of see it now. It's just a it's just a value difference. And like like you were saying, Dan, I think that's just nitpicky. It looks great. Yeah, I think it's nitpicky. <laughs> Um, the, the, the um, buildings on the left that have a, a blue, uh, um, reflection on it, like, it makes me wonder where is that blue reflection coming in? Cause every, everything is very warm and, and, and yellowy, uh, reddish. And then we have those kind of like bluish things there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of those things where I feel like this shot is definitely not re aiming for realistic. It's more stylized, and I do like the blue. Mm -hmm. um, I like what the blue is adding to the image as a whole. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because you know, realistically, I was just there wondering if, be, yeah. if if that's the case, then then maybe have also some in the right side of the frame or something. Because it could be, it could be that it's reflecting the 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 sky behind us, mm -hmm. but it's like it's weird that there's just like three buildings doing that, and then everything else has nothing like that on it. One thing, maybe like so, this building had like it feels motivated. Like there's like this uplighting where you like you feel like there's a source, like a spotlight or something under it that's like illuminating the building is like an aesthetic choice. Um, and like maybe if if like you wanted to ground it a bit more glory, you could like uplight this one a bit more and like uplight this one. And um yeah, there's always playing around with I think like this this one has a blue uplight now that I'm looking. Um and like maybe that could be played with to get a similar value if you wanted to to have blue on both sides. Yeah, maybe just the blue one in the middle out of those three is just that. No, the one to the left. This one? That one. Yeah, that one is probably the only one that's like, it's very flat and very the strongest, like green blue. Yeah. Um, so maybe just that one. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. Anything else? Well, excellent work, Gloria. I'm excited to, to see the next version of this. Yeah, yeah it looks awesome. awesome. Yeah, this looks very really awesome. Yeah. All right, next up, we have Ivan, who's here with us. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about your render, or do you want us to just go through it? I'm going to mute it. Um, I think you, you can just go through it. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I love the glass. That glass looks so um, good. Oh, the glass. The 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 glass he's holding yeah the liquid in it yeah, yeah. is also moving yeah it's, uh, it's kind of cool it's animated right is it yeah. animated cool. yeah it's um the liquid is black which is the like the glass does look really good but i don't i don't know if it's meant to be a super dark Liquid, or I would imagine he's holding something like whiskey, which would be uh, a little lighter, more amber. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just um, throw a really quick um, custom <laughs> material. Uh, I didn't work really on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's probably sure not looking to too good now. <laughs> and then we can go to the. Um... So here's Our like practice. a yeah. Here's like a Thanks. the still. So you can see it for like the like its full quality. And yeah, then... I think you nailed it with the references. The yeah, it looks like I couldn't see anything. It just looks like you really replicated the lighting of the reference. I also want to add some atmosphere and uh, mm -hmm. just uh, like this um, haze. Mm -hmm. You can you can see it on the on the uh, picture with the Margot. Oh yeah, in the back. 
Yeah, I think I, I'll um, add it later. And maybe some uh, variation of lights. I, I have uh, just uh, blue now. So mm -hmm. yeah, he has a, a kick light red, a kick, mm -hmm. kick light red, but in the background is everything blue. Maybe add some yellow uh, also uh, as in the reference picture. So yeah. Maybe to experiment mm -hmm. a little bit with lights. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's what I would say. The back window in the back is looks really uniform. And there's like a yellow light right above it that we can see and we can't see any influence from that light. Or maybe it's not a light, but I think it is a light. Yellow light right okay. above the back. There's a yellow light right above the back window. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's we can't see any influence of that light on the surroundings. So maybe getting some variation, like you said, would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then, um, yeah, I'd say like <clears throat> the one thing, both of these images, I'm trying to figure out like there's, there's more, I think there's more saturation, like, like in this, like his ear and, and side of his face are going really red. Um, yeah. And like here, there's like a hint of red, but it's not going like super saturated like this, which is totally fine. But if like you're, if you were looking to like uh, emulate this, like I'd suggest playing around with like the saturation levels. Yeah, but if you were to up the saturation, I definitely would add a little bit of the volumetric that's also in the reference or some kind of motivation, mm -hmm. like just a hint yeah. of motivation of the red light. Or you could, yeah. you know, follow. Yeah, because the two references both have red in them, but they look a little bit different. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Because uh, yeah, in this one you can you can hardly feel the <laughs> the red on his face. Um, and then like she she has a, like that slight red, like like you're saying, Diana. Like um, like this is definitely feels more like that, which mm -hmm. is definitely yeah, it's looking great. It looks like there might be a comp issue here. Mm -hmm. Looks just like a quick comp. Yeah, yeah. just the, the alpha. It's kind of around here as well. Yeah, the, I think, yeah, depth of field made the edges like. Yeah. I would yeah, just yeah. maybe add a fill, like a like some bounce light here. Just the, this whole area is kind of going super dark, like his uh, clothes. Yeah. And, like, just like bring those as, just like above, above black, um, like just to give it like a little bit. Um, of, of detail, yeah. Even here, like everything, like on like all of his clothes and 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 her, like she, there's not really like a super black value. It's there's some lifted shadows. Yeah, but just a little bit. I think yeah. the yeah contrast is working well for the your shot because it's like more dramatic. Yeah. Than your reference, but I totally agree. Yeah, less it's not a global thing, it's just a mm -hmm. just yeah, getting those shadows up. I have also a question. Um if you uh, take a look on animation, would you uh, make some slightly little push in or would you uh, leave camera still grounded as it is now? So I think that's entirely up to you. I think um you know, like with the shot being so short, like, you know, you, you would just want to make sure, um, actually it's not that short. I lied. You'd want to make sure like, you know, you just like have it, um, come to a stop before it ends, you know, and that's smooth and it, um, you know, feels, feels good. Yeah. I think one of those camera moves that you don't, where you don't realize the camera moved until it loops back to the front and then you realize like you realize that it moves from the mm -hmm. difference between um the last frame and the first frame one of those really tiny moves would be nice but i think it also works just really well yeah. with, without anything and honestly your render times will be hugely increased increased by adding that camera move because right now you could you could just have the background be a still yeah. you know one frame and then all you have to worry about is the the counter the tabletop and, and your character uh, for the yeah. actual rendering per you know, every frame. And then if you wanted in like um, DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, 
just do a tiny push. Like when I edit videos, I do that all the time. Just, just do it, do it in the editor, just a tiny push if you, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a good idea. Yeah. And oh, did you also make the materials for everything? The character? Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, textures, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I also wanted to ask. Maybe you uh, see something that uh, you would change on textures or uh, the, faders, so they are not some some of the things. For example, glass liquid, they are not uh, final. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just uh, presets at the moment. I would make it a bit later, but I think the characters, uh, yeah, is final. Mm -hmm. But maybe you have some suggestions what, what I can do better. I mean, I think it looks really good. The set, I think, looks great. Maybe for the character, I would, I would add some, like maybe, darken the, like right there, the eye, like right on the eye line. Mm -hmm. And maybe the fingers, I think, could use some. Although maybe the nail, the fingernails aren't modeled in. It's just. A hand, right? It looks like. Yeah, yeah. There is oh, no okay. finger nails. Yeah, that may yeah. Be tricky. Yeah, I, like just really little, slight details around the eye line and, and the lips, maybe is what I I would add, because it mm -hmm. does feel like there isn't much detail when I when there probably is. So I think you would want to make it more, a little more evident that you made the texture <laughs> if you can. Yeah, I wanted to uh, make him this uh, shaved look, kind of skin, mm -hmm. but but it's uh, not very visible because mm -hmm. of the camera. It's just on the close up. <laughs> Maybe I, I need. Uh, I have to make it stronger. I don't know. I think you could make it stronger. Yeah, skin painting. I feel like when you're painting in the program you feel it's you're super up close and you feel like you see all the details but once you render it out and this is a 4k frame so if we can't see it here you know mm -hmm. i would yeah consider making per, making it more pronounced some of the things yeah. that you did mm -hmm. and then maybe i mean i don't know if this is a extra specific thing but like it's going really really black right here in between his hairline yeah, um, I'd look at bringing that up, and then I think this is looking good. This and like we're of course close right now, so I don't, you know, it's it might not matter, but it this looks really flat here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, make it more bumpy. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah maybe play with the bump. Yeah, like it, like this. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> and then maybe the eyebrows, the spec, might need to be roughed up a little bit more. It's looking just like like it's looking pretty, pretty uh, like like I can like see the reflection where I feel like in the eyebrows I'd see it a bit more diffuse. And then another thing that I noticed. Um, is I, I like what this light is doing and maybe when you have volumetrics this will change um, and you'll have more more of it but like this stands out as like like le light leaking through or something like i don't exactly know what this is oh uh, yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah. Mm. yeah i didn't see that but now that i'm seeing it it's like what is it <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's uh, just uh, uh, one light from the outside. I wanted uh, to create just kind of uh, gobo lighting, mm. some sort of. But maybe um, you're right if I uh, add volumetrics later on. Maybe it, uh, uh, yeah. it's going to be noticeable. Yeah, I mean, and is it, this is um, this is a uh, 3D geo, these windows and the blinds. Is this like a, is this an image or is this a, a 3D object, the blinds and window? Uh, no, no, it's just a, a light from outside and you, um, it comes through this uh, shutter from the window. Cool. And it uh, 
creates this uh, global cool. effect. Yeah, so then if you have atmosphere, you'll probably get a lot more of it, and then you can kind of play with um, how it's coming in through the scene, you know, like mm. through, you know, through more of the, the windows. Yeah. Sweet. Anything else? Anybody else have any feedback or comments? It's really cool. Nice work. I, yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I think the basic, like, uh, lighting structure and the character lighting is, like, really, like, it's just all the way there. We just want to tweak a little, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And a great reference, too. Yeah, 100%. The, the win oh, sorry. The windows and the glass look really good, like, overall, yeah. the whole window, so it looks yeah. really nice. Yeah, it looks real, the window, windows and the blinds. Yeah, all the variation in them is so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great work. Thank you, guys. One last tiny thing. Maybe play with either <laughs> highlights or reflections mm. in his eyeballs. Oh, good. his eyeballs? Uh, <laughs> maybe uh, you know the solution. Um, this model, uh, I got this as a Alembic, and it... Um, has just eyeball without mm -hmm. cornea, mm -hmm. so it's uh, you know yeah, what I mean. It's not... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you can do um, like just the <clears throat> the uh, I think uh, Mike says this in one of the YouTube Let's Lights that he did for one of the characters. Um, I can put it in the the chat, but um, you basically just turn the eyes into chrome balls and just render out the eyes. Um, and then you comp you comp the reflection into you know into nuke. Mm, so that's one okay. way to get the reflections or eye dinks. So I just make this ice as uh, crumbles and I render it on a render layer and I can uh, put them as a reflections later on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and oh, you just cool. you turn prime primary visibility off on everything else. Um, mm -hmm. or, okay. or set it to matte texture. I think matte texture. I'll, I'll I'll link the video and that'll help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think yeah, there are many cool. ways to That's do it. Video. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sweet. Well, excellent work. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty. Next up, we have yes. Juan. So yeah, this is awesome. I love to see it. like we we saw it um, when posting submissions. We were just like, whoa, this looks incredible. So. Yeah, um, my personal favorite. <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. I love it very, very much. Yeah, I think, um, and you updated us on what, I think you mainly changed the contrast, you already mm -hmm. darkened like, the background, brightened the robot's eyes. Yeah, that was Mike's notes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's great. Yeah, the only thing I did was looking at was the just the marshmallows. But that's just like mm. um, the model and the texture that it came with. So, and the note that I have is like, make it look more delectable, which like, I don't, I don't even know what that means. I sound like the client that no one wants to have, but that would be the only thing that I have to say about it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything that's jumping out to me. Does anyone else have any other any other thoughts? Yeah. Anybody? I hey, was... I have just, just a little yeah, go ahead. note. Uh, it's not uh, really necessary, but uh, maybe um, uh, you can try to play nuke with this uh, light on the robot's head. Make it uh, some glow, maybe a little bit. Yeah, the bulb yeah. on the head. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to do that, and um, and maybe that'll help. Like, like I love the reflections of the um, mm -hmm. HDR in the light bulb, and so we, it might that might help bring it out more. Like, either have a contrasting color or something. Um, yeah. I also I feel like I'd love to see what the eyes would look like. Like right now, this, they're looking a little blurry. Um, and I wonder what if the glass, like 
if like you made them a little bit sharper and then what they would look like if they were even just a little bit brighter and maybe even kind of whitening her eye whites just a little bit more too. Um, and then there's a harsh shadow, or so, yeah, there's a harsh shadow right here on the robot's hand. Uh, is that a hard shadow or is it the model it is shaped like that, is it? I don't really know. I think it's a hard shadow right there. Yeah. And it looks like maybe it's something that's hitting the foot. Or I don't know what it is, but maybe look at softening that. Um, yeah, this is great. Yep, this that's beautiful. Nice work. Yeah, Holly. I agree on the girl's eye white, especially on the inner corner. Yeah. But otherwise, it's great. Sweet. All right. <laughs> yeah, looks cool. All right, next up. Um, yeah, so, so I think, did you want it? This one was submitted in the Discord for, for some feedback. Uh, I can't, is it IMS? I think I'm unsure. <laughs> well, um, Anywho. Yeah, yeah, does anyone have any thoughts right off the bat? Maybe um, the sunlight on the on the floor is maybe too strong. I'm not sure, but uh, maybe just uh, to a little bit uh, less intensity because it's uh, almost uh, over exposed. I think mm -hmm. a bit maybe. Yeah, the sun is a little bit. It is clipping kind of intensely on the floor. And it, I do think it's a little strong on the girl um, and on the cushion on the left. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing is, I think this was the piece where we had the like straight line on the window sill, window pane that was like dark on one side. And I think that's happening with the robot again, robot as well. The yeah. Window, but something, yeah, something funky is going on on the robot. Yeah, it's even like in the eye too. It's it's kind of like it's got like this like warpy um, mm -hmm. thing happening. Yeah, the sunlight I think could be brought down a little bit and soft, just a touch. Yeah, the girl's hair is like com just completely black. Mm -hmm. It would be good to see some of the variation that's in the texture. Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's no light on it or something, or maybe no specular value. Yeah. And then also, it's also said so that the HDR, uh, HDRI back there is like, is overexposed as well. And like, so like, I feel like that would happen if our characters were the ones that were exposed, but like they're both especially the um the girl they're like both like particularly dark and the room feels underexposed as well so i think a decision should be made on like what what is like going to be exposed like properly and then what is going to like go overexposed um and like yeah like i think that that would be something to to work on I like the way this wall looks, like the light on this wall. It's really nice. Yeah, and I like how um, the level that they brought the rest of the room to, the darkness. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. It does, yeah, it does really feel like the sun is the only source of light right now. And the bounce is um, is lighting up the characters. Like, I think that, that's looking good. It's just about making the characters look really look um pretty prettier a little bit i think there are some details that were we can make better yeah yeah definitely some more shaping and stuff like the robot right now is very like 
there are lots lots of it's very feels like the specular is turned off or like it's just very very flat in the in the red so maybe playing with some shaping to, to like yeah make it as... more. i think that um uh, the the robot like you you can see the um the the overexposure on everything but the robot like you can see that he's getting sunlight and on the top of his head but it's not overexposing at all so it kind of looks like weird i don't know um another thing that it, um, i noticed is like if if the sun is the only i mean it at least that's what it looks like to be the only source then the the god rays should be almost uh, uh parallel where the way they are here that it's kind of like as if the sun is almost right after right uh outside the window because it's like it's almost mm -hmm. perpendicular on the right side right by the window and then on the left side they're like almost 45 degrees yes yeah, yes yeah, you mean like here it's like that and here it's like this yeah uh and the other thing is like the the, the reflection on the um our left eye of the robot the the white reflection the the white square yeah uh, maybe he can move that up a little bit just so that it doesn't go into the black or you know I don't know it, that that one kind of bothers me a little bit yeah mm -hmm. yeah but it, overall I think it looks good yeah and um as far as the hall of fame goes uh when you're happy with it and when this image is finished you can just tell mike to update it and he will hopefully they see this video <laughs> tell them to in the chat yeah. it looks like the bulb might have escaped the cage oh so yeah maybe look into that just make sure that's uh brought back oops whoa and then the the bump on the the lampshades is standing out to me as a bit too much. So I might lower the bump on those. Sweet. Nice work. All righty. Next up is Denise. Yeah. Uh, are you able to talk? Is that, are we pronouncing it right? The name? Denise, yes. Oh, cool. Awesome. awesome. Well, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. It's so, 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 are these both two different, uh, like, lighting scenarios that you've set up? Yeah, it's two renders. So, the references I took them from, the site had, like, a daytime shot and then, like, a nighttime lamp lit shot. So, I tried to do both. Nice. Oh, it would be awesome if you could show us the reference or, like, upload it, I mean. Um, if you have them on hand. Oh, absolutely. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, that would that would probably help us uh, understand what you're going for before we start talking. About it. it looks very cute. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I love the bunny ears Thanks. on this the pillow. Is also modeling practice yeah. for me, so <laughs> I've been trying to make like low poly stuff. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. You you did you model it? The not the whole thing or? I made both of them. Or I made the whole oh, thing and cool. sort of moved the lights around based on that. My lighting skills are very rudimentary. I guess is a good word for it. <laughs> no, it's a good start. It looks really pretty. You know. Yeah, Thanks. I agree. Okay, let me find out how to drop these in here really quickly. I'm just sure. going to drop them in the same chat I put the... Yeah, yeah I'll just grab them from there. there. Okay. Okay, those should be in there. Yep. Oh, nice. It's like cute little like stop motion feeling sets. Yeah, miniature. Is it miniature? Oh, it is. The plant. 
there's a giant plant next to it if it's not a miniature. <laughs> yeah, they're both miniatures. Nice. Just quickly drag them in. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave them in uh the browser and then just jump back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Okay, so both these are up. Okay, so let's see we can start let's start with this one. Yeah, so you have like this nice warm light, like kind of filling filling this room. But I like the the way it's hitting the pillow. I'll jump back. <clears throat> yeah, not nice. You've got it. Got this light kind of affecting the pillow. Yeah, the first thing I thought for both of the renders was that the there's um very little color in the lights. All the lights seem to be very close to white. But for the daytime one, the reference I think you're matching it in the color well, so that's that's fine. But for the nighttime one, I think it could the lamp could get more orange, more saturated, like it, its effect on the on the wall and the bookshelf and the reference is very orange and you don't necessarily you know need to do a one-to-one -one depending on what you want to do but i think it would be um it would get that warm impact warm emotional impact better if it was a little warmer a little yeah and and pr probably play with the contrast a little bit too so letting some of these areas <laughs> That aren't affected by the light as much go darker, like above above the the bookshelf and some yep. of the floor. I think just like giving it that bit bit more contrast will get it closer to this reference. Yeah, I think for both of them, you can uh, you. So you have the main light source, which is either the sun or this lamp. And I think you can um, lower the values of the other lights that you have in the scene that are sort of filling the scene with more light than there needs to be. I think we don't really see a lot of darker shadows. Well, we don't see any darker shadows and the, the shadows are very light. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we could to let them go into darkness a bit more. Yeah. And then maybe like if you're, I mean, this is a good example of like the darker shadows, like Diana's talking about in this reference. Like if you're, if you do it, doing what Diana says will get you much closer to this. Yeah, for this scene, I think you could even test, see how if just have like a sunlight, just have one light for the sunlight and see how that looks. before adding other things. Mm -hmm. I think you could get pretty close with one or two lights. You, you can also maybe, um, on this reference picture in the daylight, he has also a table, I think table. It's uh, so mm -hmm. white and glossy and it um, gives uh, more bounce light. Maybe you can put a plane, on a, a, a white plane, and make it uh, so uh, glossy as in reference and maybe it would help uh, to produce a bit more bounce light also. Yeah, like a plane under the whole set that's yeah, acting yeah. as a table for the miniature set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does get some more light from the surrounding area instead of the shadows around the model in its entirety. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a really, really, really close recreation of the reference. We have some good, like, reference and nailing the reference today. Yeah, yeah, these are awesome. Okay, that's good to hear. I was kind of nervous about them. 
No? Yeah. Man, oh, yeah, like, it looks great. And then, like, with anything, like, I you mean, know, it's great that you're, I mean, like, you know, feedback and iterating is, like, how everything gets refined and better. So you're doing all the right things, and I'm excited to see kind of what what the next step is. Yeah. I have a software engineering background, so the, the refactor experience is very familiar to me. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, of course. All righty. Next up is Justin. So we have this image, and then we have the reference. It's a cool reference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Anyone have any thoughts? It's definitely a lot closer than your last version. I'm still working on the exposure outside in the glass. I don't know why the top of that glass turned yellow. <laughs> like way yeah. on top. I, I don't know. I'm just still messing with the shade, the glass shader a little bit to try and get it, you know, mm -hmm. right. So that's not there yet, but yeah. Would, and then, oh yeah, go on. Yeah, go, go you. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I, can... yeah, go ahead, please. <laughs> uh, you can add maybe some um, volumetrics here, some maybe a little bit atmosphere. It's not a, a lot on the reference, but maybe just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, the the reference is a lot more washed out. Like the 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 black values are not really black. Um, so I don't know how, how <clears throat> close and, and real to the reference you want to be, but if you do, then the, uh, I'll try to do that, um, mm -hmm. um, and lift the blacks and, and, and try to get the, the black values closer to the reference. And, um, the other thing I was going to say is, is once again, depending on how close to the reference you want to be. Um, if there is no, I mean, like, it looks like the only uh, light lighting it is the sun, but if that was the case, then either the outside would be completely blown out or the inside would be much darker. I mean, of course, you know, you're referencing a painting, so the painter does whatever he wants. Right. Um, but, uh, but, um. It looks like it almost looks like on the painting on the reference, the 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 values outside us are almost the same as inside, you know. Um, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll I'll try lifting the blacks to get closer to the references. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think, um, like, you know, like normally we would be like, yeah, exposed for inside and the outside gets blown out, whatever. But the reference, definitely, if you're trying to match the reference, um, I don't, do you think it, it would work out having the background, the outside darker? <laughs> I, I think I might try, I think I want to blow out the background or the outside, just to see kind of what it looks like and then add that little bit of atmospheric. And I do like the idea of lifting the darker values more so it's, you know, more washed out. So okay. maybe I'll try that one first and go from there. And then if we're like, eh, then I'll maybe I'll go back to the older version. Yeah, the yeah. atmosphere should do both, um, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. Because in, in the reference, there's a lot less contrast because yeah. of the, 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 the atmosphere. And... Uh, and it's interesting because if you look at the um, the the news the packs of newspaper, I think in the foreground, mm -hmm. even though they don't look like they're being hit by because like the 
the sun is hitting the the floor right be, right uh, below the character, um, but it's also hitting the, the 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 newspapers. Yeah, those, and it's also hitting the newspapers all the way on the back, even though it's mm-hmm. it's not making shadow, but it's like it's it's making a very bright top of the newspaper, which wouldn't happen in real life uh but it's like it's it's a beautiful reference so i'll try to yeah i'll try to get some um um atmosphere and and lower the contrast overall so that you get this the same feeling as the reference Mm -hmm. yeah i think um yeah i think you have a nice bounce light lighting the room i think the shadow on that could be soft and like the shadow of the table in the back and if you compare the shadow right above the circle window, oops, yeah, just comparing just comparing the circle window to the clock, you can see how you might want to soften the shadows or like that level of contrast. I think. If you can match it, then it would match the painting really nice, really well. But yeah, the so, shadows. Yeah, shadows cast by the table, and then like the other things. I think the bounce light shadow could be softened. Yeah, but and you like, yeah. There's so much complexity. Like, like if you look like the shadows going that way, the shadows going this way, the shadows going that way, the shadows going this way. There's like a lot of, a lot of light like playing around and moving and like different directions going on. Like, uh, even like, Andre was saying yeah, like that. the way like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like that's motivating the painter to be like, you know, this light saying these newspapers. And of course it would, you know, create this like this beautiful light here and it it, it works. So like um, kind of depends on what you want to do. If you want to like match the reference and go painterly, I'd say, you know, like play, play around with like what what in your scenes motivating that. Um, and yeah, definitely like the work on like raising some of these like super black areas some of that will be through the atmosphere and some of it you might just need to like you know just add some bounce light that is filling in some of that and then um i'd love to see more shaping like like maybe if this like you don't have to do this of course but like if this was here and then that motivated like kind of a blast of light like this like, I think it'd be cool to see some of these, like, variation, um, like, in the values of the wall um, in, in your scene. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like, that's one of the parts that I'm drawn to, the references, those shadows and that variation. I'm like, yes, I want more of that. <laughs> and some of that might just even be... Or go ahead, sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh, just the, the texture, like, might need to bring the... Um, adjust like play with the specular value to when you're working on the lights to get that bit of shaping what were you going to say ivan uh, um it's uh, really cool what uh, you did with shadows on this carpet because on the reference you can also see this uh shadows from the from the window uh they, they are kind of uh, soft and so uh, but also, they have a direction, and you uh, show it uh, also on this carpet. It's really cool. Yeah. And maybe, maybe I'm not, uh, I'm not sure, but um, maybe I would try to experiment a little bit with with uh, HGRIs. Maybe you can uh, grab one with a golden hour, something like this, and just just to ex- experiment maybe a bit, try different ones. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I wasn't uh, sold off. Cool. Oh yeah. oh yeah, thanks. I agree with all of that, and I think I wasn't sold on that HDRI. I was like, eh, the out the exterior one, and I'll probably, you know, mm-hmm. just, well, I don't think it was working. So maybe something more gold could look cool. Yeah, for sure. But it has uh, it has really nice mood. It's, uh, yeah, fun. yeah. I know the glass, the top of the glass turning yellow was kind of an accident, but I I kind of like it. <laughs> I think it works well ish not that you have to keep it but 
yeah, if you replace the HDRI with something that's something different. I also like the, um, uh, the shaping on uh, this telescope. Mm. Yeah, it looks also cool. Hmm. And this kind of rim light on the guitar is uh, also nice. Yeah, you're totally right. That feels nice. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, nice work. Thanks, everybody. Let me double check. Yeah. See, yeah, that's everything. Sweet. Well, yeah, thank you everybody for being here and, and participating and yeah, we'll, we'll see you for the next one. Thank you. Thank All you. Right.